up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we are checking out the best Mewtwo EX deck in the game this is the only way you should build this deck out it is crazy strong and it is so meta right now definitely one of the best decks right up there at the top um, and I will talk about some variations of the deck as well for you guys but in general I feel like this is the only way to go so let's check out the deck and Mewtwo is such a sick card. It is one of my favorite cards in the game. Like the artwork on this is just on another level. And actually, if you're lucky enough to have this card, if you click and hold it, you get to watch this special animation as well. I won't go through all of it because maybe some of you guys have seen it before, but it's so sick. Like it's so cool that they've done this. I think there's only three cards in the game where you actually get this as well. So that is really sweet. Um, so first thing we want to do when building out this deck is when you go to our accessories, make sure we've got the Mewtwo card sleeve and then the Mewtwo uh, playmat because they just look so sick. Um, so for the actual deck itself, we're running two routes, two Kalias, and then two Gardevoirs. And the reason we're running Gardevoir is just because of her ability. Her side shot <laughs> is weak. You know, three energy just to do 60 damage. That is weak source. But her ability is what makes us so good. So basically each turn we can transfer an energy from the energy zone into the Pokemon in the active spot. And we get, so that means you're getting like two energies a turn, really, really strong. And, and it helps Mewtwo. So we're running two copies of Mewtwo EX. So we've actually only got eight Pokemons in this deck and then 12 support cards. And then Mewtwo, obviously 50 damage from Psychic Sphere, which is okay, but it's all about the side drive. We're doing 150 damage. We can almost one-shot anyone in the game. Crazy good damage. Um, but we do discard two energy. So that's why it's useful to have uh, Gardevoir there because she's just going to help us stay topped up on our energy so we can just keep one shot in, one shot in basically everyone. So we've got two potions, um, you know, just to help us keep healed up. Two X speeds so we can sort of move around quite freely. Uh, two Pokeballs, two Professor Oaks. They are basically what you need for every single deck. We need Pokeballs to help us try and get um, copies of routes or to get Mewtwo's. Also means you cycle through your deck faster as well. And then the Professor Oaks as well, you know, be able to draw two cards again. You cycle through your cards quicker so you can get the cards that you need. Then we've got Giovanni. That extra plus 10 damage can come in clutch. And the fact that, you know, 10 damage, it doesn't sound like a lot. But in this game, actually, that's probably like 10%. So being able to do 10% is actually a lot of extra damage. And we get to do that twice. And they're also going to run two copies of Sabrina. Being able to swap out your opponent's Pokemon to another one means that you can just get easy wins or, you know, get a one shot and just it can just come in clutch. So Sabrina is actually a massive card. So that's the deck. Let's get some battles on. Okay, opponent number one. And we're going up someone that I have no idea what their name is. If you do speak Japanese or Korean or whatever language that is, let me know in the comments tonight. What do you think their name is? Uh, it, it does bug me. I wish I wish they had like a thing underneath just so I know what their name is, the translation. So routes in our starting hand is not good. That is not a good starting hand. We do have a Pokeball, so hopefully we are going to pick up a Mewtwo. So sort of other variations of this deck is you could drop you know, you. I think you always need to have at least one Routes and Gardevoir in your deck. Um, but what you could do is you could drop them out and maybe bring in Jinx. Jinx is pretty solid. A uh, Hypno is a really good support card. You can basically just, he sits on the bench and he just puts the enemy to sleep. It can be really, really irritating and it just sort of can come in clutch. So we've got a good chance of getting Mewtwo here. There we go. That's exactly what we're after. And we're just going to start pumping energy into Mewtwo. We're in a pretty comfortable spot at the moment, so we're just going to end our turn. So if you look, check out Bulbasaur, and this is a deck that I actually run. I actually made a video on this deck. Um, I like to call it Egg Salad because it's eggs, eggs and Bulbasaur. Um, but yeah, Execute, when he turns into Executor, he can just steamroll. <laughs> there we go. That's what it is. 
this is so deadly. Um, we could actually lose this fight pretty quickly. So Executor, 160 HP, really tanky, does 40 damage. But if you get ahead, you're doing 80. So we just one shot our routes, which is not good. So obviously Mewtwo is going to come in now. But we are going to struggle. And the thing with this deck as well is he's probably going to be running um, Erika as well, who can just do like big fat heals, like 50 plus heals, which is just crazy. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to be annoying. We're going to drop Sabrina. So he's going to have to bring in Ivasaur. And it just means that they're going to end up wasting a bit of energy, which, you know, we need to sort of stall this fight out just a little bit. And then we're just going to do some damage to Ivysaur. And this is a little bit of a, a speed race. So if he can get to Venusaur, we're going to be in trouble. Venusaur, I think, has like 190 HP. He is one a tanky mother trucker. Um, and yeah, Executor, he can just one shot. Well, not one shot, but two shots. If he gets really lucky, it's two shot. So yeah. Could be really, really sticky for us. And this is going to be a, this is a hard matchup. This is going to be really, really difficult. And he's already got that bit of an advantage over us as well. He's already one up over us. If Mewtwo goes down, it's a loss. So we need to be really, really careful. Okay, that's sweet. We're, we're okay at the moment. We're just sort of sitting there comfortably. And I'm just trying to think of the play right now. See, I could one shot Ivysaur, but I just feel like we want to try and get rid of Executor as quickly as possible because he's the main threat. Right now, he could just bulldoze, bulldoze me like no problem. So let's let's avoid that. Let's not get destroyed. So I'm just hoping he hasn't got... Even if he does have Venusaur, actually, though, we're still in a strong spot because he needs four energy and we can definitely outpace him. But yeah, but yeah, Executor is insanely strong. One of my favorite cards. Uh, it kind of reminds me, he's a bit like Marowak. Um, I don't like Marowak as much, though, because Marowak, you can do 0, 80, or 160, but Marowak, you can just have such bad RNG just becomes sort of like worthless. Can wipe wipe the sweat off. Um, so yeah, so we're going to actually be able to one-shot Executor. Let's drop the... Prof uh, let's do some research with the Professor. Okay, we're, we're in a good spot right now. Just going to one-shot with the side drive. See you later, Eggy. And yeah, we're in a strong spot right now. This is, we've done a complete U-turn. Uh, Mewtwo coming in clutch. Just hoping he hasn't got Erica. Another execute. And of course, I knew, I knew Erica was there. I knew it. Knew she was coming for me. So I don't feel like there's much point in using Giovanni. Just trying to think, should I retreat it? Probably not. I don't feel with, even with the EX speed, so X speed, I don't feel like it would have really helped. Just trying to think. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a win, guys. This was not an easy matchup. Um, like I said, Executor can just steamroll through like most team comps. If he's got Giovanni, I'm going to be raging. Okay, so he's bringing in Execute. And damn, I did not think about that. Oh, wait, no, wait. We've got Giovanni in hand. We're sweet. So it just, it just comes down to if he's got Giovanni. He used Erica. We're safe. Oh, so literally down to the wire. 10 HP. This is clutch. Mewtwo is coming in clutch. So 
he's probably thinking, well, he can only do 150 damage to me. Wrong. Giovanni, that's why he's there, because there are some Pokemon that are annoying like this, and he's given up. Game over, man. Game over. Just such a sick deck. I mean, that was a hot, that, and that is a strong deck. That's a hard matchup. But Mewtwo coming in clutch with Giovanni. That's what I'm talking about, boys. All right, opponent found. Oh, and another one. Another name we don't know how to pronounce. And apparently they're a beginner. Let's see. Let's see what they're running. See how much of a beginner they are. Okay, so they're running a water deck. I'm going to guess it's Articuno and Starmie. Called it, guys. So Articuno can be a little bit of an issue. Um, doesn't need that much energy. If they've got Misty in hand as well, Misty just, oh, she is, she is so frustrating to go against. Sweet, we've got Mewtwo already. And that's why you kind of want to have, don't want to have too many Pokemon in your, in your deck, because if you do, then you might not get your Mewtwo and you need Mewtwo. Mewtwo is doing all our damage. He's doing all the work for us. So if he's not there, we're in big trouble. Uh, yeah, there's Misty. Uh, just, we need, that's, uh, sweet. We're, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot right now. And yeah, I called it. Oh, uh, okay. No, that's not bad. That's not bad. We got a Mewtwo down. I really, really want an X speed. That's what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, okay. So Carlia, she's only one to retreat anyway. So that's all right. But what I would have done is retreated routes first. Bring in Mewtwo and then evolve. Um, that's just something for you guys to keep an eye on. You don't want to do it the other way around. Do some more research. And we've got Gardevoir already. Sweet. So we are going to be able to start popping off pretty quickly. Just trying to see. So 120 damage. So we are just tanky enough to be able to, to stall out against Articuno. Oh, no. Another Misty. But yeah, Misty Misty and Articuno. I do feel like it's one of the most broken decks in the game. Very lucky there. Two two fails. He could have easily just one shot Mewtwo and we would be in, in big trouble. So we'll drop Gardevoir first. Charge up Mewtwo. Gonna drop that next energy as well. And we can see like Mewtwo. We're on our way. We're on our way to doing that big boy of damage. So yeah, so Articuno is going to be in trouble. If if I had Sabrina, I'd actually drop her right now to take out that Staryu because Starmie does 90 damage. Starmie is crazy good. And I just feel like as well, like kind of underrated as well. So as soon as Mewtwo goes down, we're going to be in trouble. Um, we're going to be in real trouble because we don't really have any answers. Oh, 10 to 9. And we've already used Professor. What's in the discard? And they, they gave up. I mean, they could have beaten us. They definitely had potential there. So sort of on the fence about that one. Let, let's go on to the next one. Opponent found. God, we're only going against Japanese and Korean today. Okay, so we're going first. Not a big fan of that. Got Mewtwo in hand though, which is great. There's nothing wrong with putting down Mewtwo first. Like 150 HP, tanky. And once we get two energy, we can start start doing some damage. Oh, so another water deck. Another Articuno Starmie deck. I'm hoping this guy does it for the long haul because I do want to sort of get like a full match in here. Okay. And just hoping for a Pokeball. Perfect. So either another Mewtwo or Routes. Routes is fine. We're on our way to getting Gardevoir. Just 
looking at the star U card. Don't really, don't really look at that often. And Articuno, yeah, Articuno is a real menace. Um, I think Giovanni's so good with Articuno because basically, you obviously you're going to do start doing ninety damage, but you're also going to be doing twenty damage to the entire back line, so you can really chip away at the enemy. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I still got a bit of a cold. I'm still like still recovering from COVID. It was a it was not a fun week. Yeah. All right, so we're still good. We can actually one shot Star U next turn. Unless he drops that Star Me. I'm hoping, hoping Misty isn't in there because she is so frustrating. Um, I think the worst I've ever seen, I've seen her get 90, 90, uh, not 90, nine heads in a row, nine energy, crazy, crazy stuff going on. Okay, coming in with some insane damage. Just trying to think. Do we drop Sabrina? I feel like we just have to. Um, even if we do a little bit of damage to someone else, I just feel like it's the only real option we have. This star me is going to basically just take out Mewtwo. I know we're in trouble. And then what we're going to do is we're going to save this energy and start using it for the one on the back line, which it's not the best strategy, but we just have to stall out just a little bit. And if this Mewtwo is still alive next turn, we can just go full ham and just pump all energy into it. I did hold on to my potion. Um, me, I should have used it. I don't know why I didn't. I thought I was being clever. I, but yeah, that's definitely the wrong play. Just in case he did sort of get enough energy to do Ice Wing, you know, would have cost us, would have messed us up. Okay, I don't, I don't know if we're going to win this one, guys. It is, we definitely had a bit of bad RNG. And if he hadn't got his star me so quickly, could have definitely taken him out. Okay, so it's good that we are held on to that potion actually, because we can sort of keep ourselves healed up. So we're going to start charging up our Mewtwo. Side drive, oh, sorry, psychic sphere. And then we're, you know, we're going to get the one shot next turn. Just hoping we can pick up another Sabrina. So we've got eight cards versus six. And did he use both Misties? No Misties yet. Yeah, we are definitely in, in trouble. And he's really, he's really thinking about what he's going to do. Okay, so Starmie coming in. 90 damage. Oh, just, we need another potion. Well, we're going to drop that potion anyway, just to, just to try and keep ourselves alive. And we're going to take that extra energy as well. Side drive, coming in hard. Japow! Star me down. Okay, so we're two for two. We are on the back foot right now. Um, I don't feel comfortable. It just comes down to what they've got in hand. If they got Misty, it could just be game over. They, oh, and they got five cards. So there's a very good chance they got Misty. What is the play? What is the play?
okay, they've red card us. That's not really going to have too much of an impact. Just hoping... How many potions? We've only used one. Okay. Okay. It's bringing in Gardevoir. He's stalling me out. He's stalling me out, guys. But we're in a strong position. Or not. Okay, so we just... So we're going to use Pokeball. And the reason we're using this Pokeball is because we're just trying to, you know, pull another card. And how many cards we got left? Six cards. So we're trying to get Potion. If we can just get Potion, we can win this one. And of course we pulled Giovanni. Okay, so we've got X Speed. We've won. We have won. So we are going to put energy into ourselves. We're going to put energy into Mewtwo. We're going to use X Speed for the retreat. Retreat. Mewtwo coming in. That was a sick play. Big point. And they didn't even let us finish it. The shame. The shame. What? What a turnaround. I, I seriously thought we were going to lose that one, guys. And that was probably one of the biggest comeback plays I've ever had in this game. Insane. Insane. All right, Wizard, 117. All right, we're going against Wizard. Let's see what he's got up his sleeves. <laughs> terrible, terrible dad joke right there. Oh, nice. So we've got two Mewtwo's in hand. Uh, it's not the perfect setup, but it's still good. Um, I'd definitely rather have Mewtwo and Routes just so we can you know, start feeding that energy as quickly as possible. Another Starmie deck. I've seen a lot of Starmie today. But yeah, Starmie EX, it is strong. And if you've got Misty as well, she is a real pain to play against. Okay, and we are going second, which, you know, it's, I think everyone prefers to go second, obviously. You get a massive advantage of just being able to start using that energy uh, early on. But if you're a water deck and you've got Misty, it doesn't matter if you go first because if you do have Misty in hand, you can start getting that slight advantage with the energy early on. And sweet, we've got our routes. Routes coming in. Just trying to think. No, we're going to save Sabrina for now. Because obviously we could swap out Star U for another star you which would be pointless and lapras i'm not scared of lapras lapras pretty slow takes a while to start building up okay that was a terrible play i don't know why this little feeding into lapras so early well actually i guess you two can just one shot star you so even though star me is a very very strong card um Low HP, very low HP. So that is, that's Star You down. And we're going to go straight into Lapras as well. And yeah, I feel that this is going to be a stomp. It's going to be an absolute stomp. Sorry, Wizard. Uh, yeah, put your one down. Call it a day. And again, he's going to put all his energy into Lapras. But by the time that's happened, ooh. Okay, so we're going to put our routes because routes only has one energy to retreat. And I can still feel, uh, feed my, my Mewtwo. Okay, that's interesting. I was not expecting that. So Lapras coming in. Just going to put energy into Mewtwo. You know, this is easy. Easy street for us. So we're not going to do anything fancy. Stick to the basics. And yeah, Lapras will take out routes. Mewtwo will come in. And we're going to one-shot Lapras. And that's it. It's game over. I wouldn't be... Oh, he red-carded me. That was, a, that was a nice play. Cool. He caught me off guard right there. Shouldn't, shouldn't be running my mouth. Thinking that it's just going to be an easy win. But even if he takes our routes. Okay. Well, I'm going to be in, I'm going to bring in my Mewtwo. Um, I don't see how he can bring this one back. 
There it is, 80 damage. You two coming in with side drive. Get ready to be absolutely destroyed. There it is, guys. See you later, buddy. GG wizard. Um, yeah, that was a hard one for you. But yeah, as you guys can see, like we are just steamrolling right now. Um, Mewtwo is an insanely strong deck. You guys definitely want to try and get Mewtwo as soon as you can. Definitely start pulling those Mewtwo decks because um, it is just an insanely... It's a fun deck. There's some crazy plays you can see, like we that one we did today earlier. That is one of the best plays I've ever done. Like, I really thought we were going to lose that one. We managed to do one of the best plays of all time and get that, you know, big win, big win with Mewtwo deck. Insane. Definitely worth playing and running it. And when rank comes out, I'm definitely... This can be my go-to deck for sure. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.